Good morning, this is Greg Feynman with UOR Investigations Paranormal, and um, it is February 26, 2023, at uh, a little after 9 in the morning, almost quarter to after 9, exactly now. Um, I want to talk about, about an incident that occurred um, that uh, happened February 1st. So Mama Sue calls me, and she tells me that well, I'm just going to let you um, hear the conversation. So here's the conversation that I had okay, so first. I didn't sleep too good last night. I I was having a lot of nerve pain in my foot, and so I didn't sleep a lot. So usually I don't take a nap, but about 11 o'clock this morning, Penny was sleeping. So I decided to lay down for a while, too, and all of a sudden, I found myself on what I perceived as a ship, I did count eight distinct corners. So I think it was an octagon, that's what I'm getting. But I I was on this ship and uh, it was one of the, uh, I always forget what they're called, the, uh, what's that other tribe, Baba? I can't remember. The reptilians. Why? Well, I don't even like their name. I'm, I'm terrible. But I, the, one of them had me by my right forearm and was holding me like he was angry, and he was talking something I totally did not understand. I'd never heard that kind of. It was a series of clicks and weird noises that I've never heard a human make, and seemed to be angry with me. The next thing I know, I'm, I'm waking up, and my arm hurts where he was holding it, and I take a look at it, and I've got all, all these bruises up and down my arm, and I, I don't know what else to attribute it to other than that happening. Of course, you can see where the dog had, of course, bit me previously with her teething, but this was not that at all. Not at all. Did it appear to not be fingers or something? Like finger bruises? Yeah. yeah. I sent the picture. It seems... They only... To, my recollection is there were only three fingers. That's what I saw. And they and it had my arm very tightly. And I can see some peaks and valleys that could be taken for... Fingerprints. I, I just, I just don't know what to think of it. They were uh, angry with me, and I don't have a recollection of the whole thing. But enough to know that it didn't like me. It had me very in a rough hold, and it was talking to me in in something I've never heard before. It was a series of different odd sounds that. I've never heard come out of a human, so, so, you know, it, of course it wasn't human, but, I mean, I'm just saying it was weird, and, and I've just been thinking about it all day, trying to figure exactly what it means, but as of yet, I don't have any uh, other thoughts. Now, just a few minutes ago, I took off my uh, socks and shoes put on my slippers, and three of my toes, the big toe and the two next to it, are also massively bruised. I didn't send that to you yet, but I do have, I just finished taking the picture when I said I better call you and let you know what's going on and see what your thoughts are. I would appreciate anything you might get, or if even not right now, might come to you. But, uh, um, well, um, let me ask you this. Do you feel it was a dream or do you feel you were really there? Oh, I was really there. It wasn't a dream. It wasn't a dream. Only thing dream about it was that I was laying in bed. My question is, how did they get you? That I don't know, honey. You mean like from my bed to yeah? To where how did they get you? And I mean, why is Fitz not protecting you? I don't know. From getting taken like that, why? 
Why? Maybe you were supposed Why? to. I Why? think I, something. It's telling me you were supposed to be. It was like supposed to happen. Okay. And I don't and know I why. I don't. I don't know why, but it's just getting. It's just coming to me right now that like this for some reason this was supposed to happen, but it was to uh, as a confirmation or something. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but I'm. I'm really gonna try to work on understanding what the whole gist of it was. They seemed very upset. I won't say they. It seemed upset with me. Um, you know. Uh, I could. Well, I mean, what we do know of them is they don't like me. So maybe they're yeah. angry at you because you're working with me. Yeah, I think so. I think so. But yeah. why are they taking you? How come I'm not getting taken? Because of your protection. Well, honey. yeah, but why? Why not you? Why? Why are you not being protected? I, I asked for protection for you. I, I asked them to, you know, take the protection off of me and put it on you. So you, you know. But but here's, you can't the, but you here's, can't but here's the thing. They brought you back. Yeah, yeah, they brought me back. All right, so they Came didn't. <laughs> yeah. You know. I'm a little um, bruised, but you know, it, now. The pain has actually left. It hurt me at first because I had long sleeves on. You know what I mean? I didn't see it immediately. I just started like, God, that, it held my arm hard, you know? And then I, when I touched it through my shirt, I realized, man, it still hurts. So that's when I rolled up my sleeve and saw that. And I'm like, what? You know, which to me, that, that indicates it really happened. Well, let me ask you this. Thing. You can talk telepathically. Did you get anything telepathically from them? Not at all. Did Not you feel all. like? Did you feel evil or you know anything like that? Like you were you feel when you you you're in contact with them? Yeah, yeah, I did. I I felt that they. This is what I think. They want me to stop something. They want me to stop something. Oh well, what and do you think? You know, stop what? You know, stop this. Stop doing this. Stop working with you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they want me to stop working with you, or to stop relaying messages. Although you're getting them now, anyway. Yeah. Like and, you know. You know, it's for whatever reason they can't. I don't think they can harm you. I don't know if they can. Yeah. Um, Not just just this much. Because I think they would have done more to me if they could have. Yeah. They probably would have got rid of me. So I wouldn't be an issue. You know, so I, I, I can't, I don't have an explanation other than mm -hmm. just what's coming to me right this second. And I don't get things right off the bat sometimes. It takes me longer than it takes others. You know, um, you know, like that time it you know about the um lightning strike on uh that that um, on the picture you know on uh yeah. uh ed yeah yeah Ed's exactly. lightning strike you know and it's yeah. funny that we both got a lightning strike yeah i just thought about that yeah but um, yeah you know um <sighs> Despite everything that has happened, even being charged the other night, I'm not afraid, you know. I, uh, it shook me up because it was charging me, but truly I'm not afraid of it. And I guess we just see what's next. I don't know. I don't know. You know? You know, I mean, that's the thing. Um, I'm going to stop the recording. So... Now that you've heard that, um, there's further information that she told me um, that she, well, I didn't know anyways after that conversation. She said that um, the, the way that she knew that they had her upside down by her foot was the fact that Fitz, friends in the sky, boarded the ship to get her off of it. And they said when they boarded the ship to get her off, they had her hanging upside down by her foot. And then she wakes up, and her arm's hurting, her left foot's hurting, 
and she looks at her arm and foot, and here's what she sees. Now, folks, um, I mean, I don't know what to say about those photos. Um, they speak for themselves. Um, I was a paramedic for a long time, and I don't see how she could have done that to herself um, like that. I just, and why? Um, but she was very descriptive when she told me, you know, as she was describing that, she described it as a victim describing being assaulted. And she said several things like the reptilian was broad at the shoulders, about six foot two. Um, it uh, spoke in clicks of the tongue and uh, vocals, vocalization that she didn't recognize. Um, that the ship she was on counted eight sides, well, at least eight sides to the room she was in. Uh, that doesn't mean the ship was that uh, oct octagonal, but at least the room she was in was octagonal. So one other thing that Momosu said was that this caught, this abduction caught Fitz off guard. They weren't expecting Momosu to get taken the way she was taken. They did board the ship and get her off. I'm definitely grateful for that. No telling what would happen if they didn't do that. And, you know, Mama Sue, you know, she suffered significant injuries due to from this. You know, now some of those bruises on the very big top of her arm and the very bottom of her arm, some of those were done by her dog that is teething and bit around but that big amount huge bruise that wasn't there and it looks like a fresh injury too um but i um, haven't got to see it up close other than the photos so anyways i'm just giving you guys an update um it's kind of getting real um so stay tuned <laughs>